Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samara and I do weekly videos. Fingers crossed I will be doing weekly videos um, and uploading them every Sundays. Um, so I wanted to jump on here and share with you my thoughts on um, New Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. It comes like this and I love the way the package actually opens. You just twist and it opens. Um, it pumps out quite nicely as well. You just need to, well, it says shake before you use it and use two pumps, but I generally feel that two pumps might be a bit too much. I've got it on now and two pumps was definitely a lot. I could just maybe just do for one. Um, it's got the SPF 20, but I feel like you don't, you shouldn't rely on SPF in foundation. Using one separately probably works so much more better. So I wanted to read out to you what it actually says on the website. It's actually really impressive. So um, if you didn't already know, this is based on the powder foundation that Bare Minerals had. Um, it's been out for a really long time. Um, and this is the liquid form. So if you have dry skin and you found that the powders don't really sit well with your skin, this is definitely worth trying. I've got it on now and I feel like it doesn't dry my skin up. It actually gives like a luminous finish to my skin. Don't have any powder on at the moment. Um, but I, overall, I actually quite enjoy the look of the foundation. It looks just like skin. You can still see some imperfections on the skin, which I don't mind. It says it's a light to medium uh, build, but medium build, I'm not too sure about it. It's a really light build. Um, I don't have much on um, in terms of the amount of foundation I've literally just um, shook the bottle and see it says use two pumps but I think two pumps is too much so one pump to start off with and if you need more you could kind of build it up slowly but it won't be a full coverage foundation so back to what it says on the uh, website it says um, introducing original liquid mineral foundation SPF 20 conscious clean vegan foundation I've never tried a vegan foundation um, made with 88% naturally derived ingredients, proven to visibly, visibly improve skin texture and reduce pore size over time. I don't overly have large pores, but it'll be interesting to see what it does to what the pores that I do have on my skin once I've started to use it over kind of four weeks. Um, I usually jump from foundation to foundation, but I'm aiming to just use this and see what this foundation does to my skin. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because all the ingredients in here are all natural, all the other Arda. all the other foundations have um aren't natural so i'm wondering what this will do to my skin because of the ingredients um so the proven results what it says on here it says 92 percent agree foundation feels comfortable on the skin definitely agree with that it's very light on the skin and um, when you originally put the foundation on your skin it feels a bit tacky, a little bit wet, but after maybe 15 minutes, it does set. Um, I overly like the feel of the foundation and the way you apply the foundation. So I'm gonna show you how I apply the foundation and how it looks without blusher and bronzer on my skin. Just gonna apply a little bit just uh, with my fingers. I just feel that I get a, a better application. When I use brushes, sometimes it just leaves streaks. So using my fingers, it just warms up the foundation and just applies it a little bit more seamlessly. As I'm applying it, it feels really like, it feels a little bit watery based. It's really light, but I can feel like it's slightly tacky. I've always been a fan of Bare Minerals, but the only thing that stopped me is because my skin's quite dry, the powders don't really sit well on my skin. And I found that their um, colors in the, in the foundation just didn't sit well with my skin type. I'm actually really excited to find that they've now got a liquid foundation based on the powder foundation. So the color that I have got is Golden Nude number 16. They've all got a yellow undertone, so they've got a wide variety of foundation colors majority of them are all yellow undertones they are perfect for asian skin tones i've got yellow undertone if you've got a red undertone this may not be a right fit for you i don't have any under eye concealer on at the moment i just wanted to show you what it looks like with just the foundation on its own i have moisturizer on and a little bit of serum underneath my moisturizer just to give you a, a true sense of what the foundation would look like without putting any kind of glowing products on underneath um 
it says it's buildable coverage but it's very light you can still see your skin through and it's so seamless to put on it, it kind of glides onto the skin so i've done the majority of my face and i still have a little bit left over so even two pumps could be a little bit too much depending on how much you like to apply on your face so that's the foundation applied um, it feels a little bit wet on the skin. I feel like I need to powder it down a little bit. Hi, so I thought I'd check in and show you how the foundation is getting on. It definitely feels so light on the skin. The luminosity has faded slightly, but where you can see the shine, that's just highlighter that I had on um, during the day. And it's not as tacky as it was when I put it on this morning. So the time now is about half 11 and I put the foundation on around I think 10 11 o'clock this morning so most of my foundations oxidize and my skin kind of feels a bit patchy in terms of the way the foundations faded this definitely hasn't done that it's faded out evenly which is actually quite nice and it just looks so natural and that's what I wanted wanted to foundation that looked natural um definitely worth trying out and if you have tried it out please let me know in the comments below what you thought of it because i'm actually quite excited to use this as my main foundation now i'll see you again next week bye